fly I'm going to be tying. Now I'm going to be using a, a, a yarn called Superbug Yarn. Uh, basically it's by a company called Lure Flash. In this case it's a, it's a nice it's a brown and orange mix that works extremely well. Now, to tie the brown caddis I'm using a Uni AO in black. The hook I'm using is a Camasan 405 size 10 which is a medium wire hook that is works extremely well. So it sits nice in the water. The B170 is a good one as well. Now just take the thread down until we're in line with the barb, a good layer of thread, and then trim away or break away the waste. Now to save material what I've done is I've taken a lot of the, the yarn from the card and put it onto an old spool and no one for say onto a bobbin holder. Now I'm going to catch it the full length of the body, the, put a waste piece on and really that's my measure for the body, about there. And nice strong turns, touching turns, take your thread up, all the way, tying in the yarn. To get to this point here. And then, with the first turn of the yarn, it's really on, practically onto the bare hook, just slightly at the point here. And then, bring it up, slightly spread it, and then bring it underneath the thread as you go. Just watch the other bobbin holder as you go. The sedge body is quite, quite thick. This yarn it floats extremely well. But if you've got a very good dry fly dubbing, it'll work just as well. Now once you've got a good, like a good half a dozen turns before I trim away the yarn itself, I just come in here and trim away the excess. And then, before you do anything else, really got to tidy up. Take the thread down, and then come back up. Now for the feathers on the, the wing, these are a lovely brown colour feather. It comes from the body of a marlar duck. That's the drake, it's the male bird. Now you need two of these. And all we simply do is look, just lie one on top of the other, with the, the curve going the same way, just like that. Your length is just slightly by the bend there. So what you do is you come in and remove the fluff from both sides, holding both feathers. Again, come in, make sure the measure is correct. Now all I do is come in with my finger and thumb and can basically roll these fibers around the hook. And then with two or three loose turns, then tighten up. Just check to see how things are sitting. Now, as you see, it's all the way around. You may have one or two going astray, but don't worry about them. You can always trim them away. If you're as long as the top's sitting the way you like. So you can come in, and you can get these ones here. Slightly went too far, or curving away from the body. You can trim them away. I don't think the fish will mind too much with them still being there, but just to show you what it looks like. And that's the sort of shape you're looking for. Once you've got that, take away the excess, trim away, and then tidy up. Take your thread down right to the eye, and then come back up. Now there's two feathers in this fly. Now this is a saddle neck, it's a cock saddle neck, and it's a nice, as you can see, natural red. And we're going to use one of these feathers I mean, you've got lots of flies out of one of these. Just pick a good colour. One that, and this is a mix on it's a light to dark. I'm just, just looking for a nice balance, nice colour all the way through. And length of the fibre, it's actually quite short. This is one here. You don't want them too long. You can be as long as you like. It's your fly. Now, this is going to be the last one up because I'm putting two hackles on them. I've got a dyed fiery brown. Now I'm just going to catch it on the side with the underside of the feather facing myself. Make sure you tie it down. And then, this is a 
small Chinese hackle dyed fiery brown, very orangey like. Catch it on the side, again with the underside facing yourself, and then take your thread down. Trim away the excess. Now, because the hackle is so small, I'm going to use a fine pair of hackle pliers and really just take it down, get as many turns as possible out of the hackle as you can get, just working your way down towards the eye to get to this point here. Cross your thread, two or three turns, should be enough to hold it. Remove your hackle pliers. Now I'd normally leave everything just now, and then with your saddle hackle, because you've got the length, you don't need hackle pliers, you can bring this through, nice and tight, mixing both colours, natural and dyed. Then come across your thread, went two or three turns, now I've got one or two fibres I don't want. Just go back, another couple of turns in, and then at this point, all I do is concentrate on drawing back any fibre that's going forward with the eye, just draw it back, small head area, and then come in and put finish straight away. Always keep the thread tight. The fly will last much longer if you do that. Come in, trim away your haggle. The point of the Chinese is in here as well. I'm just going to grab that. So light I can actually break it off. And there we are. And really, as you can see, it's a nice canvas pattern. It's a lovely dry fly. A nice shape, much as I say, it's a default type. Um, wonderful colour combination. Certainly would catch a few fish. And then all we have to do is come in and touch the head all the way around with some varnish. Just make sure the eye is clear. And with a dubbing needle. Just clean it out. And there you are. And that there. A small dark brown caddis. Just using some of the body feathers as I said from the mallard.